Today we'd like to talk about our aerating container. It's something that we designed for a large coffee chain, uh, but it has multiple uses far beyond what its initial launch was for. If you actually look at the blade, uh, it's more of a disc uh, without a hard cutting edge like any of our other containers that are meant to break down dense root vegetables, frozen fruit, ice into smooth finished products. This was really meant more for incorporating air, stabilizing, emulsifying ingredients. So a very different use case and it works really well when some of those ingredients are very delicate. So um, sometimes uh, you need a little bit of finesse uh, as opposed to a hammer, which is a lot of our other equipment, really pulverizes and powers through things. This container is compatible with the three motor bases that we have here in front of us. From a beverage perspective, our best in class quiet one has four different programs. Uh, and two of those programs are dedicated to more delicate uh, refining, uh, things like cold foams, um, as well as two additional programs that are more aggressive uh, that would be something more along the lines of a, a high speed kind of shake from a cocktail perspective, uh, muddling action, things along those lines. Our Touch and Go Advance uh, also has four different programs that would work with the aerating container uh, to do the same basic tasks. And then finally, our Vita Prep 3. Uh, to your right, uh, there are a lot of great applications for that as well. So you can think of emulsifying hollandaise, uh, vinaigrettes, creating delicate foams, uh, things that the standard container is just a little too aggressive at, uh, which can really help in reducing uh, your training, uh, trying to get staff up to uh, a state where they could create a high-end hollandaise. Uh, this can bring back hollandaise if it's broken. So there's a, a lot of great applications uh, outside of what our equipment is known for. The aerating container has a variety of use cases. What we're gonna show you today is a craft-made strawberry lemonade. So unlike the standard container that comes with the Touch and Go Advance, our 32 ounce Advance container, which has a very sharp blade that's meant to break down ice, frozen fruit, other ingredients that are very difficult uh, to a smooth consistency, we're gonna be using our aerating container, which has a disc, so there's no hard outside edge. What we're gonna do here is really uh, a high speed run with a delicate blade uh, in terms of how aggressive it is uh, to break down, do some muddling, uh, as well as mixing and chilling. So we're gonna start out with some water in the aerating container to get some flow. We've got two strawberries, which we've quartered, and it's gonna muddle those. Uh, we've also got some sugar, which you could use a simple syrup or a different sweetener of your choice. And then we've got one lemon uh, that we've cut into wheels, uh, about a quarter of an inch thick uh, for those. And this is going to uh, extract the citrus out of the center of those lemons, as well as break down the strawberries. Uh, and the ice is gonna play a role in that. A little easier and better to use a larger piece of ice with this. It's gonna work as a hammer to really kind of break some of this down as well as chill everything. We're gonna select program 20, which I've already pulled to the front six buttons and I've placed that on button one. So we're gonna go ahead and set our aerating container on top of our touch and go advanced base, close the sound enclosure and run the pre-selected program. And this is gonna to start to break down those strawberries. So you'll see some pink initially as it continues the process. So we finished processing. You see a great pink shoe there and a little flash of the yellow. Uh, go ahead and look at these lemons. Uh, you'll see that it has broken through all the citrus on the inside there. To give us a great sour component to go with the strawberry and the sweeteners. And you can pour this all directly into your finished cup. Again, this would be two 16 ounce portions. Uh, you can do lower volume if you want to, but uh, great application. You can see that the ice is still whole after it's processing, and we've got a great craft beverage that'll get you more out of that unit. So you can do smoothies with it and milkshakes, and this gives you into a whole different category uh, that's a much more nuanced, uh, delicate application. Beverages with cold foams and flavored foams have become very popular, and the Airden container is a great piece of equipment to help you expand your menu. Uh, and to do so profitably. So our quiet one comes standard with a 48 ounce advanced container. Uh, it's got a much more aggressive blade that was meant to break down ice, uh, dense frozen ingredients uh, as well. 
Uh, but what we're going to try to do is think something a little bit more delicate. So the aerating container gives us that ability uh, as it's designed more to aerate, uh, to stabilize uh, ingredients. So this is going to work in some air as well as hydrating our flavor ingredients. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start with about three ounces of skim milk. So you want to make sure that is nice and cold. Uh, that's going to help in that foaming process. And then for flavor, we've got uh, a half a teaspoon of instant coffee, half a teaspoon of some unsweetened cacao. Uh, and to round that out, we've got a tablespoon of sugar. So this is going to pretty much triple in yield, uh, which is great from a COGS perspective. Also very good from a caloric standpoint. We get a nice delicate beverage uh, that's not as unhealthy for you as say like a heavy whipped cream would be. So we'll go ahead and close our sound enclosure. We're going to go ahead and select uh, program 32 that we've moved to button one. And this is going to expand into a great delicate topping. Great, so our Dalgona whip topping is complete. So we're going to go ahead and pull this out of our sound enclosure. Uh, this is going to be a thicker version. Uh, there are programs that are dedicated to a slightly less aggressive uh, foam, so something that's more pourable. Uh, also, some recipe variation will give you the ability to get something that sinks into the beverage if that's what you're looking for, as opposed to something that, like this is going to be more of a refined topping. So we're going to go ahead and give this a little bit of a tap because we've got a really nice, dense foam. A lot of great flavor here uh, with this Delgona. has a nice chocolate coffee flavoring. So we'll go ahead and just that simple, we've got a great add-on to your beverage category.